three lives were lost in a house fire in the East County overnight. You're looking at video of the fire that broke out shortly before midnight in unincorporated El Cajon on North Anza Street. We're still waiting for authorities to officially confirm the identities of the victims, but as CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes found out, they were pillars of their small community. Kirsten joins us live. Yeah, I'm here in front of what's left of that home. If you take a look behind me, you can see it's almost a total loss. Firefighters tell me two of the victims died at the hospital. The third died here at the home. Neighbors were still here at the scene trying to piece together what happened because the victims of this fire were not only their neighbors, they also owned four properties in this area, so they were landlords for a couple of their neighbors. But the people we talked to today say they treated everyone like family. They were really sweet people, Marilyn and Herman and then Ian. They always came over every holiday, every birthday. They never forgot one. The second we moved in, we were like family. Reagan Seymour lives next door. She says the victims were staples in the community before the fire the night of April 20th. What are you going to miss most? Just seeing them. See, we'd see them every day, help them with their groceries. They'd always check in on us like we were family over the past five years. They own our home as well, so we don't know what this means for us or for their family, knowing that they just lost three people. Reagan and other neighbors identified the victims as Hermit, his wife Marilyn, and their grandson Ian. These two people took their grandson in because his parents couldn't take care of him. They took care of each other and they took care of their renters. I was hysterical on the phone with 911 because I, I knew they were inside the house and how crazy the flames were. There was no way they were going to be out. Reagan says it was after 11 o'clock when they realized their neighbor's house was on fire. This is video she took with her cell phone. When we started coming out, the whole thing just went boom. It had been maybe 10 minutes and then there was another loud explosion. It was something out of like a nightmare. The flames were way past the trees, past the pole. Like it was looking up like oh, you, you couldn't even see sky. I was in the living room. I could I thought the living room light was on, but the flames were so big that it was just lighting up everything. Firefighters tell us they were only three minutes away, but by the time they were called and then arrived, more than half of the home was already burning. Um, one of the firefighters where he's pulling a line, looked in the windows and found a person on the floor. So then they went into rescue mode and started um, making access and pulling the two people out. The explosions you heard the neighbors describe, we asked firefighters about that and they said it was likely household items in the kitchen or somewhere around the house. They say it's still too early to tell what caused this fire and they will keep us posted on that. Now coming up for you tonight at six, we'll tell you why firefighters say they had to call in extra help just to battle these flames. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. So tragic. Thanks, Kirsten.